All right, everybody. Today we are going to be doing another personal tier list, and I'm going to be ranking every single character in Dead by Daylight. Once again, this isn't based off anything like kill rate, cosmetics, anything like that. This is just personally how much I like each character. So starting off with Trapper, Trapper is a solid b-boy. I quite like Trapper. Wraith is also going to go into B tier. I quite enjoy Wraith. I always have fun with Wraith. So I think B is fair. Billy's going to go into C. I'm sure a lot of people won't be very happy with that, but I don't play a lot of Billy, so I'm not as attached to Billy as a lot of people are. I'm going to put Dwight into A. I think Dwight is really goofy, and I enjoy him a lot. I like his lore, and I like a lot of the different, like, kind of headcanons idea about Dwight. I just think he's a fun character overall. Meg goes into B. I play a lot of Meg, and I think Meg is an interesting character, but I don't have the same kind of attachment that I do to some of the other characters. I'm going to put Claudette into C, right behind Billy. Out of the original survivors that I had, I really just didn't play a lot of Claudette. A lot of that was because uh, early on, my friends used to joke with me about how Claudette players only self-care in the corner and everything. So that kind of turned me away from playing Claudette so much, so I just never got super attached. Jake is going to go in B as well. He was one that I thought was interesting from the start, one of the ones that kind of like drew my ire at first, and I thought looked really interesting and had a cool design. So I got a bit more attached to him, but still not super attached to him, so I think B is fair. Nurse is one that I still don't have any attachment for, I don't care about really, and I just, I don't, I don't enjoy playing as Nurse, I don't like playing against Nurse, so... I'm sorry, all you nurse mains out there. She's just not for me. Nia goes into the Nia tier once again. If you've seen any of my previous videos, no explanation needed. She's Nia. Nia tier. Myers is going to go into A tier. I always enjoy playing Myers. I always enjoy having a Myers match. Plus, Myers is one of the first characters that I actually bought outside of the ones that I was given. So I just I have a pretty strong attachment to him. I think he's fun. Lori, on the other hand, is going to be another C tier for me. I don't play a lot of Lori, and whenever I first kind of got into the game, I was looking through perks, and I just I didn't really like many of hers, and she was just one that I never played a lot and never really mained. So unfortunately, Lori is going to find herself in C tier today. Hag is going to find herself in D tier. And that's just because I don't play a lot of Hag, and I haven't played a lot of Hag up to this point. So maybe down the road I can get, or I'll get more attached to her, but for now, she's going to stay in D tier. Once again, sorry Hag mains. Ace is going to also go into B tier. I really like Ace. I think his, uh, like a lot of his stories, a lot of his lore, I like kind of how he's just kind of like a sleazy gambler character, you know, I enjoy him and I like his cosmetics, but once again, just not as close as some of the other survivors, so I'm going to put him in B. Bill's going to go into C. He's another case of, I didn't play him a lot from the start, and I still haven't played him since, so I just, I don't have those same kind of attachments to him. Perk-wise, I think they're some of the best for whenever you're starting off, but... Like I said, this is a personal tier list, and we're just not as close to Bill as some of the others. Doctor is going to go into C as well. So, I like playing as Doctor, mostly friendly matches, but if I'm ever going to get like competitive or serious, Doctor's not going to be one that I pick. And then playing against, I don't really enjoy playing against Doctor all that much. His cosmetics aren't super great either, so he kind of just filters off into C tier, I think. Get this one right off, or right out of the way. I am a Fung main, like 
almost probably 60% of the population. Sorry, I know we're basic, but... Yeah, she was the one that was most interesting from the start. Had the best cosmetics right away. So, like, I can't not put her in S. She is my overall main, so... Yeah. Huntress is an interesting case. So, like, I enjoy watching Huntress gameplay. I like Huntress's cosmetics. But I can only really put her in B... Because as a console player, I have a really hard time trying to play Huntress, which has led me to not playing her a lot. And honestly, it's kind of hard to get super attached whenever you're not really playing as someone as much. But for cosmetics, just sheer coolness and everything, I'm still going to put her in B tier. David, I think, is going to find his way into C tier as well. I didn't play a lot of David. I really just... I don't know what it was. His character design wasn't my favorite off the bat. I did like a lot of his lore, but I've never been drawn too much to the more like rough and tumble kind of characters. So he kind of finds his way into C tier here, I think. Now Big Boy Bubba is going to find his way into B tier. I always enjoy playing a Bubba match. High risk, high reward. And I just think he's fun. He had some great perks whenever I first started out. And so I just, I think he was one of the ones that I just kind of fell attached to rather quickly. So Freddy's going to find his way into D tier as well. I just think he's kind of boring. And maybe that's a skill issue on my part. It probably is a skill issue on my part. But uh, yeah, I can't really put him any higher. I'm sorry, Freddy Mains. Quentin, on the other hand, is A tier. Quentin is another one of those that's my abs or one of my absolute favorites. I liked his perks right away. Wake Up is still probably my favorite perk to run. It's not great or anything, but I just almost always have Wake Up on my kit for some reason. So I'm going to actually move him into S tier. Pig is my secondary main, so she's also going to find her way into S tier. My secondary killer main. Sorry. I just, I've always enjoyed Pig. I like how she's kind of underpowered, but if you can think your way through a match, you can also dominate with her. It's a unique kind of playstyle that I just really enjoy. Detective Tap is going to go into D tier. I just don't really care much for Tap. His design is okay, but... I just, I don't know. I never found any kind of real attachment to the character, and I just don't play him that much. At least not anymore. Clown is going to go into F tier. And that's just because, once again, I don't have any kind of close attachment to Clown. I don't really like playing as Clown. I don't like playing against Clown. And honestly, I just, there's nothing really super special or fun, in my opinion, when it comes to him. That's why I'm putting him so low. I apologize. Kate is going to go... I'll put Kate into B tier. I like a lot of her cosmetics. I like that she's kind of like the cheery, like, kind of center of joy in the fog. And I think that that's really unique and neat. I like that. I like a lot of her lore and whatnot. I think she's just a really interesting character. Spirit's going to go into A. I really like Spirit. I like playing as Spirit. I think she has some cool cosmetics, and I think her power is really unique. And so, like, she's just another one that's really cool. I'm putting in A. Adam is also going into A. Adam is a character that I've always really enjoyed. And it's hard to really put him anywhere lower than A. Adam is just overall a solid character. Plus, Diversion is one of the most fun perks in the entire game. Frank is going in D. I don't really care much for Frank. That's all I will say about Frank. Okay, I'm actually having a hard time identifying by these masks. I want to say this is Julie. I'm going to put Julie right here. 
If that turns out to have been Susie, then just flip these rankings. Because, oh wait, no, no, that was definitely Julie. Susie goes into A. I think everybody loves Susie. Susie is just the best. Joey will go into C. Once again, if I got Joey and Frank mixed up, I apologize. But, yeah, I don't care much for the Legion characters. The only one I really like is Susie, so. Jeff is another one that I just never really got attached to, so I'm going to put him in D tier. I don't know what it was. Maybe it was because he was just very, very loud whenever I first started playing, or... I don't know, I just didn't vibe too much with his lore, so I apologize, Jeff Mains, but I'm putting him in D tier. Plague is one that I've always wanted to like more than I do, so I would argue to put her in B, but I'm actually going to put her in C. I don't know what it was. I never got too attached to her power. I thought her lore was always pretty cool, but I don't play her enough to really be super attached, so... Once again, that's she's going to find her way into C tier. I really want to put Jane into F tier. But I don't dislike Jane enough to put her into F tier, so I'm just going to put her into D. D is kind of a safe spot for characters you don't really like, but you don't hate. So, yeah, I don't care much for Jane. I think a lot of the people that play Jane are just super thirsty, and that's really not me, so... Yeah. Moving forward, we're gonna put Ash into B tier. I think Ash is a cool character. I like that he came in from Evil Dead. I love Evil Dead. There were... I mentioned in a few other videos before that I felt like his design was a little bit off from Evil Dead, but... Even then, he's still Ash. He's going to go into B. Now as for the puppet, puppet's going to go into A tier, because puppets are cool. Don't at me. Ghostface is also going to go into B tier. I think Ghostface is one of those that you're always going to have a hodgepodge of matches. Maybe he'll be fun, maybe he'll be cool. I think he has some fun little outfits to kind of change around. And so, I feel like B tier is a pretty good place for him. Demo Dog is an S tier. Everybody loves Demo Gorgon. I think he's one of the most fun to play. He seems like, in my opinion, the most fair killer in the entire game, in terms of power. So I feel like that's a rather fair placement. So, Steve, I'm going to put into B tier. Nancy is going to go into A tier. And then I'm super sorry, Jonathan, but I don't think I've ever played an actual match as you, so I'm going to put you into D tier. I apologize, that's probably not very fair, but I just don't have those same attachments. My boy Oni, I do love a good Oni match here and there, but he's not one that I just pick up every now and then and say, I'm going to play some Oni today. Usually if I'm playing Oni, it's for a challenge or a ritual. Yui, on the other hand, is going to go into uh, S tier as well. I love Yui. Some of the best uniform or some of the best outfits. I don't think that you can really put her anywhere else than S. Slinger is also going to go into A tier. I love Death Slinger. I play Slinger quite a lot. So he's going to have a solid place in A. I don't have as big of an attachment to him as some of the others. So. I think A is probably where he pitters out. Zarina also goes into A. I really like Zarina. She's one of my favorites. Once again, I don't play her quite as much as some of the others, so I'm just going to place her there. Pyramid Head? Might draw some ire here, but he's D tier for me. I don't play him a lot. I don't care for him super much, so that's just kind of where he's going to find his spot. Cheryl, on the other hand, is going to be an S tier. I play a lot of Cheryl. I don't know if that's super aware. I don't do a lot of Survivor videos on here, but I do play a lot of Cheryl. I don't play a lot of Lisa, so she's probably going to be D tier for me. Sybil's going to be about right there. I think that's fair. 
James I'm gonna put right next to her. And then we're gonna put Triss right here. Okay, I do have a bit of a problem with this list, I think. And that is, I am not seeing who should be an automatic S tier for me. Unless she's here and I'm just not seeing her. I don't see Alessa. Which, uh, let it be known, Alessa is 100% an S tier for me. I don't know anyone else who really plays Alessa, but she's one of my favorites, so... Yeah, just kind of mentally place that there yourselves. Blight, though, F tier. And I can already hear some of you guys, you know, oh, he's just putting the characters he's not good at into F tier. Well, you're not entirely wrong. I don't have strong attachments, so, like, there's really no need to put them anywhere higher. Felix, I just really don't care for Felix. He's okay. He's not bad. The Minotaur skin is really cool. I would put that in B tier. So the twins as a duo, I'm going to put into B tier. Charlotte, I'm going to put into C. Victor's going to go into A. I'm also going to put Elodie into B tier. I think Elodie is a really cool character. I don't dislike her at all, so I feel like that's a fair spot. Pretty sure this is supposed to be Dredge. I don't like Dredge. I'm sorry. Oh wait, no, that's not Dredge. I have a really hard time telling what this is supposed to be based off of the, uh, the picture. So, what I'm going to do is, very quickly, I'm just going to add a row below. And we're just going to call this one the No Opinion. I hope I spelt opinion right. Otherwise, I'm probably going to get absolutely roasted for it in the comments. But, once again, comments are great for the algorithm. So, yeah. Actually, no, I'm, I'm certain that I spelt opinion right. Trickster is another one I'm going to put into D tier. I don't care much for Trickster. I don't play him a lot. I don't feel like I need to play him a lot. He just doesn't really do it for me. Yoon has slowly worked her way up to being an A tier. She didn't used to be, but as time has gone on, she's definitely just kind of worked her way up into my favor. The Luxy skin is another one that I think is really cool, so I would put C tier. Nothing super special. Just going to be another no opinion. Nemesis is going to go into B tier. And I'm going to place both of the zombies into A. Because, I mean, they're the zombies. Zombies are cool. Wesker I'm going to put into B tier. I like Wesker. Hunk skin is F tier. Everyone that plays the skin is toxic. Prove me wrong. This is one of the coolest skins in the game, but I don't care much for it, so it's going to go into C. Now we're getting into the Resident Evil characters. Jill goes into B. Chris is going to go into C. Leon's going to go into B. Claire is also going to go into B. Rebecca goes all the way into S. Ada will go into A. Shiva is also going to go into A. And then Carlos is going to go into B. 
so I feel like there might be a lot of questions as to why I put them where I did. But the simple answer to that is honestly, I don't really have a clear-cut answer. It's just where I felt like was the right placement for them. I don't really have an opinion on this one as well. I do not like Pyramid Head, or not Pyramid Head, Pinhead. I don't play him a lot. Playing against him, I think, is a really monotonous gameplay. I mean, it's kind of just Chain Simulator. And I don't really enjoy Chain Simulator. Chatterer's F. Oh, sorry. F tier. I do not like the look of that skin. It's genuinely disturbing to me. Michaela is going to be an A tier. Artist goes right behind Fung. Artist is my killer main. Jonah is going to be an S tier as well. I just really, really love Jonah. This is another one of my favorite skins, so I'm going to put this one in A. Sadako is going to go into B tier, only until I get more attached to her. As of right now, I quite enjoy most of my Sadako gameplay, but I haven't played her enough to get super close to her yet. Yuichi's an A tier for sure. I really like Yuichi. I do wish they would give him some more cosmetics, but they are slowly working on it. Dredge goes into F tier for me. I don't enjoy playing as Dredge. He did get some new buffs, I just haven't checked them out yet. So maybe that'll change kind of my opinion on where I put him, but for now, I'm sorry Dredge mains. I just, he's not for me. Hattie, though, is definitely for me. She's an A tier. Once again, I apologize. I'm not familiar with these ones. The Knight, to play as, if this is what that was, would be probably an A or B tier. But just in general, I don't care for the Knight. I don't care for matches against him. I do like playing as him, but I don't really have any kind of like attachment to him, so I don't mind putting him this low. I'm also going to put his homies down here too. Everyone knows on this channel I got beef with Vittorio, so he goes into F tier. I've explained this in previous videos, so I won't get into it again, but I was just very disappointed by Vittorio. Skull Merchant, I'm also going to put into F tier. That's another one I just no attachment to. I don't think I ever will have really any kind of attachment to, so sorry. Hanato is gonna go there. I'm gonna put Delita in A. So this might be controversial, but I love Artist, she's my favorite. I do not like this skin. I'm sorry, it is just, I don't like it. I feel like it takes away from a lot of what makes artists cool, so I'd put I'd put that one in F. Hux needs more love, so I think he's going to go into B. Gabe, however, is going to go into C. I just don't care much for him. Nicolas Cage, I'm going to put into B tier, because he's Nicolas Cage. That's kind of all he has going for him, is that he's Nicolas Cage. But maybe that's enough. Base Alien, I'm going to put into D tier. I just don't really care much for Alien. Alien Queen will move into C. Everybody loves a good queen. As for the other skins, they're just kind of there. Ripley has to go into A. She's Ripley. I am also not really familiar with these skins, so I'm going to put them in no opinion. Jonesy! A, or S. S tier, no doubt. Naughty Bear, definitely going into A tier here. Chucky, my boy, S tier. 
Tiff, D tier. I don't like Tiff. I've never liked her in the movies. I don't like her here. Another rather forgettable one for me. So I'm just gonna play it safe and put no opinion. Alan is a C tier. He's just kind of there. Sage is gonna go next to them. Once again, not much of an opinion. We're gonna go no opinion again. Same thing with this one. I don't really know much about this skin. It's just kind of there. This is a really cool skin, so I would say C. I love this skin, B tier. Not familiar with this one, so I'm just going to set that there. The Unknown has really grown on me, guys. I used to say before I didn't like him, like, at all, but times have changed. I've grown a bit more attached. Sable, I'm going to put into A tier as well. And relax, guys, I'm not a, a big, like, Sable simp. So, like, yeah, we're just going to put that there. I can't tell if this is Maurice or not. I'm going to go off the assumption that it's Maurice. And if it is Maurice, we're going to go into S tier. Everybody loves Maurice. Vecna's a D tier. I think he's cool, but I just really have no attachment. So, this is one that it's weird that it's split into two, but I'm going to do them separately. And we're gonna put we're gonna put A Street into A. And I forget your name because I just don't ever play you, so that's why you're going into C. Trix! Oh man, Trix has gotta be an A tier for sure. Trix is awesome. Laura is also gonna find her way into A. I love Laura Croft. So I can't have an opinion on Dracula and Trevor yet. Simply because I don't have PTB, I've not gotten to play them. I will get very attached probably to Dracula. Trevor, I can already tell you, will never be higher than a D tier for me. And so, yeah, that is going to do it for this one. If you disagree with any of my placements, awesome. If you agree with my placements, awesome. At the end of the day, this is my personal tier list for every character released so far. So just... Let me know what you guys think. If you enjoy these type of videos, these tier lists, let me know. I'll make more. But until then, this is Empty Giant. I will see you guys later.